What's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to go over a MacBook I got in last night right before closing. We can see here um, our favorite came in with a bag of screws um, looking just like this. Um, once you open it up, customer called me a few days ago saying, hey, my MacBook works great, but my trackpad's popping up from the front. So if you can see that, um, we got some lift there. Keyboard seems fine. Nothing major there. But, um, yeah, so I told her to bring it in, take a look at it. Sounds like it could be a swollen battery. Um, I've seen this one time before, so I'm not sure if this is a common issue or something that's just bad luck, I guess. Um, but this is a MacBook Pro, looks a few years old, and we got a lifting pad. So, like I said, bag full of screws. They attempted to take the back cover off. Um, successful to that point, but we can already see... Let me switch the camera here. So we can see here, not looking good, right? Swollen battery right here. Um, looks like we got one screw already kind of popped out. The other screw was removed. Um, don't see that one in the bag, but we'll figure that out. All right, so... Let's go ahead and disconnect this first. First things first, right guys? Always disconnect the battery. Um, can't stand to see people working on devices with the batteries plugged in. So go ahead, disconnect this. It's coming out pretty easy. And voila. I can see my trackpad right there, right? Swollen battery. Now that's a bad one. The one I seen before wasn't that bad, but um, yeah. You know, I always wonder with these batteries, should we really be handling like them like this? Uh, mostly, I see these see this in the iPhone batteries, iPhone six, five S, six S. You get those swollen batteries. I've never actually had any sort of battery explode on me in eight years of doing this, but you never know. Never say never. Um, if anybody wants to comment on any experiences with that, go ahead. Um, so yeah, that's the culprit right there. Looks like they've done an SSD upgrade, um, which is, you know, something to consider. Is this SSD upgrade have anything to do with it, putting a strain on the battery? I'm going to say no. Um, I've done many SSD upgrades. Never had that issue. But yeah, that's popping that up. That's all that. Just pop that right back in. And we're going to go ahead and test this out. See if that trackpad works. See if the keyboard works fully. See if there's any problems with that. Go ahead and put a new battery in there. And we should be good to go. Um, nothing too serious, but definitely something you want to take care of. If you have a swollen battery in anything, um, I would recommend stop using it immediately and replace it. Um, replace it or take it somewhere to get replaced. If you're asking yourself what causes a swollen battery, um, I don't have a 100% accurate answer for that. What I can say is uh, obviously extended periods of use on the battery while it's plugged in. So, for example, if you're into playing video games on your phone and you like to do that for hours at a time while it's plugged in, um, that's my theory. Um, that and overcharging. So if your fo phone's at 100%, you want to keep charging it or just leave it plugged in, you think it's no harm. It shouldn't be, but it's not a perfect world. These batteries swell consistently. Um, I see it not so much in the Macs, but in the iPhone. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be documenting a lot more repairs. Um, my professional opinion, I've been doing this eight years. Started with the first iPhone, the very first iPhone before the 3G. Um, those were a pain, jumped to the 3G, and I've been doing it ever since, guys. Done MacBooks, PCs, TVs, uh, medical equipment. I've fixed almost anything and everything. Um, do micro soldering, so I'm going to be bringing that to the channel. Subscribe, and hope to see you soon. Comment if anything. Thanks.